Hello everyone. Before the lockdown, Nathan and I spent a few days in Amsterdam. And when we were there, we paid a visit to Monk Boulder Gym for a climb. So I've had something to work on for the past couple of days and I've been kind of getting my bouldering fix. Um, wherever you are in the world, I hope that you're well. And if you can't climb at the moment, I hope you're not missing climbing too much and managing to keep the psych high for when we can climb again. But for now, I hope you enjoy this chilled session at Monk in Amsterdam. So Monk is a really fresh, modern feeling gym in Amsterdam with a really friendly atmosphere and a really impressive training area that overlooks the river. We headed up to the training area to get warm after a coffee before jumping onto some projects. Climb one was a kind of vert, well, it was a vert wall, black problem that went at 6B slash 6C. The general flavour of the climb, it starts over to the left here in this really kind of off balance position and most of the difficulty was definitely concentrated in these first few moves, so trying to keep yourself from barn dooring around this corner basically. It took us a little head scratching to figure out how to actually pull on from the floor and a lot of micro positioning on the left foot hole but then we noticed this guy here and we figured out that you could kind of keep yourself into the wall once you pulled off the floor but it was pretty sapping on the old core um, and then I really got myself very confused and went for this hold out to the right which is definitely a foot screw actually that just made the next move and moving up pretty difficult um, I made the next hold okay this left pinchy thing between your thumb and the erect but then I think I got a little greedy and moved too quick once I had the bottom section with the toe hook figured out, the start moves became a lot easier and I was reaching that thumb a rep pinch really well. I really felt off balance and I went back to my old friend, the foothold, <laughs> which wasn't a good idea. Nathan used similar beta to me, but probably because he's a little longer, he used a heel hook instead to keep his body hooked in. Once properly established using the right leg cross through to build some height, we were both able to lunge for the next hold. We took kind of different paths from here with me opting for a high right foot and Nathan keeping his foot low. Using the pretty positive crimpy rail thing, Nathan bumped straight on and used the erect to work his way up and I chose to match on the rail, get a foot high and gain the top. We then moved on to another climb, also a black 6B slash C, and again on a vert wall with some quite similar moves in it, namely the step up move in the middle. So, I'm gonna try this black, um, which is exactly the kind of thing I like. It's just like vert wall on crimps, and like kind of similar to that vert wall one there, actually, a like big move in the middle, but it's a 6B slash C. Um, I'd say it's probably closer to 6B, but it's good. On your hop. The climb started with a crimp rail and two really slippy feet, although I ended up actually only using the right hand foot and a smear on the left. To open up the space in my span, I brought my left hand into this undercut here and worked my way up the side balls until I could work my feet higher and leap for the side ball higher up. This move was really fun as your momentum sent you out right and you had to kind of really pull yourself back in using your core. Then I used the crimpy rail and the small screw on to reach the top. Now I'm gonna go for the step up on this wall, because I like this wall. Um, and go for the yellow, which is a 6C or 7A. And then um, it's basically like a series of pinches, but there's some ridges on the pinches which are like really good for crumping. So I'm gonna crimp my way up there. This yellow didn't go quite so well. The holds were really different to anything I've climbed on before. They were kind of like slopey, 
but they were also crimpy. And the way that they were positioned meant that you had to be quite accurate whilst being kind of pulled off balance. And you really had to dig your toes into the crimps to keep on the wall, because if you relied on the flat parts, then you'd just slip straight off. There was a lot of hip shifting and shoulder opening and trying to stay in balance. And I just, I just didn't get on with this climb. So moving swiftly on. <laughs> I spotted this yellow problem which looked a little less like my kind of thing. It started off in this kind of sit down squat position. Once I had latched the left hand hold in this kind of open crimp, I tried to keep my core really tight as I crossed over on this kind of next open crimp. Uh, the middle section was mostly about keeping my core tension and my balance as I built my feet to insert the left high heel. The lock off on the left rail felt a little tenuous and I was expecting my left heel to pop, but thankfully it didn't. Again, bringing my right leg to join my left on what didn't feel like a very good hold felt a little bit sketchy. Then I did this little dance, which looks a lot more graceful than it felt at the time and made the top. I was really pleased with this as a flash and equally pleased when Nathan went next and flashed it too. So then we moved on to some harder stuff, or I say we, Nathan moved on to the harder stuff. This red took the grade of 7A and you might have already seen it over on Nathan's channel in his Monk Boulder blog, but I'll let him explain. I've come across another red project, which I'm going through the motions on and working the moves out. It's got these pinchy blocky things, it's a lot about halfway up, but I'm doing quite a dynamic move to at the moment and I'm just not getting all my fingers at it. But I find the start very kind of, you've got to keep your tension for your feet, otherwise you kind of peel back because it's fairly steep. I think that's the best one to go into. Come into there bit too far to go straight into there. So I kind of touch that one, end up matched on this. <laughs> matched on that one at the top is the best position to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> no. Matched on that is the best position to make the big move into the stop. It's kind of the best one for pulling directly down on, because these are a bit out to the side. They're a bit, a bit slippy. For contrast, here's my red project. This is how it went, <laughs> so I'll work on that. Finally, Nathan found this cool dynamic problem that was graded 7A to 7C, so that was the mint circuit. Uh, Nathan is generally really good at coordination moves and it's always really fun to watch him put boulders like this together. For this climb, you had to run along the bottom holes, as you can see, to reach the deep pocket. And then from there, Nathan assured me it was pretty straightforward to reach the top. So that is it for our trip to Monk. I spent the rest of the session playing on some confusing blues and then we headed out into the city on the hunt for pancakes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more archive sessions because I have quite a few sessions that I could edit together 
um, if that's what you would like to see. Yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!